we're gonna watch her make 11 dollar ramen okay we can check the ingredients here i don't know many of them because they are too japanese sorry i'm just a chinese not very good at the japanese stuff except the animation hi guys it's Cheryl. today finally we meet auntie ether again <laughs> Uncle Roger will review Auntie Ether $11 ramen by Epicurus. I just found that Epicurus like to hire Auntie Ether for making videos. Hmm. Anyway, let's see what will happen in this video. I definitely believe Uncle Roger will have a like thirsty comment for Ether. But I also like Auntie Ether so much. She is really saucy and she's beautiful. Anyway, let's see what will happen in this video and don't forget to give me a like or subscribe if you want. Auntie Esther Choi, she's the queen of flavor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I also react to that video really interesting. Today we're gonna watch her make eleven dollar ramen. Look at this ingredient. This eleven dollar ramen. <laughs> Me can afford oh. Let's see how she make it special. Same said we are gonna go into a very pleasant journey, unlike the Jamie Oliver's video. Okay, we can check the ingredients here. I don't know many of them because they are too Japanese. Sorry, I'm just a Chinese, not very good at the Japanese stuff, except the animation. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm a professional uh, chef, and these are she's my beautiful. $15 ramen ingredients. Mm -hmm. Why when Auntie Esther filming my video? She's so dirty. <laughs> but when she filmed with Epicurious, she's so professional. Wait, that is because of you. Look, she even dressed like Vicar. What's going on? Hi, yeah, I'm my God. I'm a home cook, and these are my $11 ramen. I don't oh. think we can call that ramen because it's just instant noodle. She just seems never. Okay, and they all wear aprons. That's why I'm wearing my aprons today. Oh. That's too fancy. Who this guy? Why he look like Muppet from Sesame Street? Hi, yeah. Is he jealous? But come to life and become real boy. Very familiar with this. I got it. Ah, Maru Chan ramen. This what classic is that? instant ramen in America. But ah, so it's like in America, because in China, the most widely eaten ramen is. Miss and nephew, up your instant ramen game. Like Uncle Roger, I only eat Indomie or Shin ramen. I like Shin ramen so much. About Indonesia, I think it's not that popular in China, but very popular in Southeast Asia. To show you ramen is a creamy pork bone ramen. I had a oh. really nice piece of pork belly that I was. My making. God, look at that pork! It's so good. And a roll along with soy sauce. Everything on it's in a different language. <laughs> of course, it's a different language. That's food from Japan. Why that guy looks so stupid? Uncle Roger buy pasta. I don't want to see Chinese word on it. Oh my God. Okay, you guys may not understand the kanji on it. It's called pasta ding, and ding is like this. I've used this before to make like sushi rice. Mirin is nice. But I heard that mirin is just some alcohol with some sugar. This feels like cardboard. This is hard. <laughs> it's combo, just feel like cardboard. Why Uncle Roger roasted him so much? I feel like Uncle Roger exactly want to be in that Epicurean's video to cooperate with Auntie Ether. Jamie Oliver food tastes like cardboard. Big difference. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> damage. Rotisserie chicken. This Wait, why chicken? like a nice gift but this rotisserie chicken look like the saddest thing i don't know what it's exactly the chicken is this we just call it rose chicken here and there is a very popular rose chicken from a very big supermarket from america it's called sam's club the chicken in the club is very social famous among the china which walmart you get it from <laughs> five major components that make a really great ramen it's the tare, which is the seasoning tare. flavor. Ah, the broth, that's the same the technique noodles, from Uncle the Roger say. And the aromatic oil. Mmm, Auntie Esther know her ramen. <laughs> he treat her so nice. See, she know everything about me. <laughs> She's the perfect woman. <laughs> I, I know, he already noodles. started. I'm about these noodles. Rose. Daniel, how I'm are serious. you? Why? Never made Why does it start to do this? I don't understand. When you start to cook, you call others? 
there any sort of tip? Side note, every Epicurious we joke, they always call Rosemary Trout uh, this perfect name for food consultant. Okay, now I understand why he made a phone call, but just do it in advance, okay? If I have a plan to make some dish tomorrow, I will call my grandma in advance, one day or two days earlier to ask her about the recipe. You need more time to prepare your food and methods, okay? Now I'm just gonna add this to the flour. Slowly. The cookers Nothing's are so fancy. Yet, so that's, that's a good sign. <laughs> what, what can explode? I know this Japanese we joke, but you're making ramen, not uh? attacking Pearl Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a joke from the hill. How can explode? Alright. Yes. This is... I hope long enough. That looks very fancy, that machine. Also, it's nice and square. And I'm just gonna cut it in half so it's a little bit more manageable. It has a really nice oh, yeah. red no, color. Don't cut in half. If you cut in half, see, your noodle gonna be too short. The slurping, not satisfying. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, snap, there's so many. Okay, uh... It looks so good. Whoop. Whoa. Look at that. It's a little bit too short. See? It too shot. You put in mouth, it you won't notice it there. And that's what my ex-wife say to me all the time. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh we no. We're focus more on Auntie Esther. And separate the skin. You see, professional chef don't have very fancy nails like me. Uh, nice idea. I think she's gonna use the bone to make her broth. Bone is classic oh. way to make ramen broth. And that but that chicken is already roasted. Does this still contain any flavor? We have our chicken meat, our uh, skin, and then the bone. Okay, I really like chicken skin, although many people say it's very unhealthy. And if you just deep fry it chicken skin, it tastes so good. It's a very popular snack in China. I'm just gonna add water to our stock. Uncle Roger oh. loves seeing the dead chicken in that pot for you. Why? I still think it's a little bit weird to use a roast chicken for cooking broth. Why don't you just buy a raw one and you'll save electricity for roasting it? To the chicken, you just- Why she cut it so much away? Wait, aromatic already? a bit early uh, add some of the scallion <gasps> wait she added the roots i never added the roots usually we only put aromatic in there after the broth boil for a few hours but maybe epicurus give them time limit i think auntie ether want to use the scallion for the broth itself not for the aroma any western <laughs> cooking show they book studio kitchen like this but then they only book few hours. I don't uh, know why. Maybe they know, but ginger. Wait, the book that? It up quick. I thought these kitchens are owned by them. Chop as well, and I like to leave the skin. Ginger good because it's stock. Same. Same. I like to leave the skin too because I'm too lazy to peel them. And with garlic, I'm just gonna give it up. A nice pound. This mm. is good. Auntie Esther pounding. Okay. Uncle Roger's favorite thing to watch. The skin on. Throw it. In the pot with the chicken and let this go this for is two hours pretty nice. on a rolling boil. So I just want to personally add a tip. Don't put green onion into the broth for too long time. Just leave there for several minutes. If you put green onion into the broth for too long time, there will be a bitter flavor from it. We're gonna be using <gasps> And you see the tattoo, so cute. Chicken. <gasps> yes! See, Auntie Esther also loves MSG just like Uncle Roger. <laughs> that flavor packet in every pack of instant ramen. That the MSG yes. makes shit good. That yes, Auntie yes, Esther, that's a spirit. In the instant ramen noodles. Now this is like gold. I love this stuff. Oh. Uncle Roger loves it too. Here. To that, we're gonna you add too. ginger Match and garlic. Will. This will go five minutes. I'm peeling we Whoa, what happened? ginger and garlic. More pounding. What I'm like. Ginger, I'm peeling it with a spoon. Mm. Aromatic This is our crispy topping that's gonna give so much texture to this ramen. So Wait, that a little bit weird. This is so Chinese. Like add some fried garlic at the toppings. Oh. Onsen tamago! That oh. is egg in <gasps> hot spring pasta. Okay. Very nice texture. That's really good, but I think you need to buy more expensive eggs, otherwise, it's not very safe to eat them a little bit raw. A silky smooth egg. It's like the better version of egg benedict. Always choose onsen tamago. Egg. I like egg benedict better. 
fanatic for uncultured people. <laughs> Nobody just ordered he egg roasted benedict for me. the egg. People only order egg benedict for the hollandaise sauce. If yes, it's so hard to make this. I fucked up once. And let's test one out. Let's Auntie Ethel looks so does, professional when she's doing this. Okay, good. There's one. Just don't cut to my pet nephew. <laughs> I want to see Auntie Esther egg. What the? Oh, mm. You see how the oh. yolk Oh my god. Oh, it looks so Center good. This. <laughs> this woman nailing everything except Uncle Roger. <laughs> Let's see what my pet nephew getting up to. In a couple hours. Bum -bum. Oh my god. They must be a La Cruze pot, right? Very expensive. Look at that. How nice does that look? It smells so good. Whatever I was smelling before, this is completely ramped up. Just oh, look. the soup is so thick. So dark and rich and thick. Dark and rich and thick. That Uncle Roger's favorite type of woman. So if you tap rich and thick, slide into Uncle Roger DM. While that's going, I'm going to start cutting my braised pork belly. It becomes so small. I remember it used to be a big slices of pork, right? It's like disrespectful how good that looks. It's it looks nice. Like too outside, thick. You know? Gotta hit it with the Oh no. Don't give this guy tart. Yeah. Broth has been going for about two hours. You can see the carcass is broken down. It's starting to thicken. So yeah, we're gonna you see the gray onion is kind of melting. Nice. We have our chicken meat. So we're gonna fry the chicken skin. <gasps> if you go to really nice, restaurant, really nice. That would taste really good. Separately, and that's Correct. the inspiration. Skin the best part. So many health conscious people, they don't eat chicken skin. And I especially like the skin from deep fried chicken. That's the spirit of fried chicken. What's the point of living if you don't eat chicken skin? A you call it cholesterol. Agreed. Uncle Roger called it enjoying life. <laughs> you know it's done I'm so hungry kind of now. Together like that. I didn't Remember eat that anything. Packet? I'm just gonna sprinkle it on mm. chicken skin. She Double MSG Haraman Fuyo This Auntie Esther really did a good job Woman go above and beyond Two MSG packet for one dish That why Uncle Roger in love with her As soon as it cools It's like ultra ultra crispy and Oh maybe to do it in a healthier way You can just use your air fryer So for the chicken skin You can just put it directly into the air fryer And the oil come from the skin themselves which is healthier without using that much oil. I can't resist. I'm sorry. I gotta taste it. <laughs> My god, so crispy. Nice you crunch. hear that? I think she really forget to use the oil from chicken skin. <laughs> One small mistake, Auntie Esther. Let me see. Good topping. Plain sesame seeds doesn't have that much flavor. We like to use sesame seeds in our chili oil. It makes food taste much, much better. Just cook our noodles and we're ready to assemble our ramen. <gasps> oh, it looks so good. Starting with our chicken, <gasps> some of our crispy oh my God. mixture. I really Mush, like the, the color of the broth. Skin. And this is my take on Daniel's ramen recipe. <gasps> that look pretty it looks good so for you. nice. This woman's such an amazing chef. She can make two minute ramen in two hours. <laughs> what Auntie Esther when she's filming with me? She's so dirty. <laughs> Rosemary is seasoning and then trout is fish. Not bad. Uncle Roger gonna name my kids soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> this is Uncle really Roger interesting. I don't know why pepper. they have a, such a weird name. <laughs> don't cut to my pet nephew. I want to see Auntie Esther A. <laughs> my pet nephew. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. Right, the ramen noodle saga continues. What saga? This ramen, not Star Wars. <laughs> this Muppet nephew love talking <laughs> shit. Okay guys, I really enjoy watching this video because I really like the ramen made from the Auntie Ether. To be honest, I like seeing the taste it, but it seems that the video is too long so Uncle Roger didn't watch that much. I feel like Uncle Roger know much knowledge about ramen. Maybe he reviewed too many ramen videos. I once cooked ramen myself. It actually took a long time because I spent like 8 hours to cook the char shoe and I have to buy the torch so it's actually more expensive than I just directly to go eat outside. For a relatively good ramen in China, I think it's cost like maybe 50 RMB to 100. It's not that cheap because usually for a normal noodle, like braised beef noodles here, cost like 
10 RMB to 20 RMB. So why the noodles from other places are always expensive than the local one? Support your local business. By the way, this is the last day of our mid-autumn festival. I would like to say a happy mid-autumn festival to all you guys. Do you guys eat any mooncake? I'm still locked down here so I didn't go out to celebrate and I didn't buy very good mooncake so I just had a bite. It's a sorted egg yolk mooncake. I really like to try like custard filling mooncake. It tastes like very delicious dessert. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I think I might get some food now. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this with me. I really enjoy it a lot. See you at the next video. Don't forget to give me a like or subscribe. Bye bye. Have a good day. Auntie Essa 11 <laughs> Auntie Uncle Roger review Auntie